All right, guys, Mr. G here with a new player guide for Stone Shard, because this game is absolutely brutal. If you can find yourself getting through the tutorial, AKA the prologue, you'll be selecting yourself a character, and then everything in this game is just as strong or stronger than you, and it's gonna be killing you all the time. So as soon as you choose a character, you're gonna go ahead, head into the city hall, steal everything you want. No one in this game's gonna care. There is a whole pile of gear right in the armory below where you're gonna get your first quests. Feel free to rob all of this stuff. Choose the gear that you're gonna use for your class, sell, everything else. So the beginning of this guide is gonna be just basic preparation you need to do in town before you head out into the world. You're also gonna to wanna to go to the southern edge of town, check out the herb guy. I recommend grabbing a splint, some bandages, some salve, and some herbal extract will be enough to get you started um, because keeping your health up in this game is hugely important because it has a lot of negative effects if you're not careful. Leeches, if you're short on money, also work okay as well. You also wanna make sure that your gear is repaired, but before that, you wanna fill up on water, which you can do for free at the well found in town. Now, there are three places that repair gear. The blacksmith guy does metal, the tailor just south of this guy does leather goods, and there's a carpenter who does wood things, such as certain kinds of shields, your bow, etc. So keeping your durability up on your items is going to be very important. But when you start out, you're probably going to be best off with just leather gear. Um, anything heavier will slow you down unless you are specking a heavy class character. Last but not least, after you've prepped everything in town, Go to the inn. Uh, it's cheaper to get a room for at least a week or a few more days. And you're going to go ahead and sleep to save. That is the only way right now that you're really going to be able to save in this game. You only have to sleep one hour to save. Um, but uh, in this particular instance, we rested up a whole night. Now, off we go into the world. Uh, a lot of people recommend that you go ahead and level up and get some gear by hunting. Uh, make sure you do bring snacks. You don't have to buy food. You're welcome to hunt and forage. Pine caps are an easy mushroom that you can eat. Um, you can also currently hunt deer and rabbits for food. Um, wolves will give you pelts, but they won't give you any food. This you can then cook at campfires. Hunting is also a good way to just grind money early game. A lot of people recommend getting one extra level in your character simply by hunting and selling pelts before you go ahead and do your first mission. However, if you're lucky, you can pull off your first mission without doing any of this. Another tip as you travel through the world is travel diagonally. It will save you time. You're traveling 1.7 squares instead of just one. That's basic math. And pretty much everything you're going to be going down and over to get to because the map is set up as a grid. You can also hold down the center mouse button, which will allow you to pan. This can be handy when seeing certain enemies. One other thing that you're gonna to wanna to be aware of is you have a second weapon slot. Uh, I recommend carrying a bow, but you can also just use this for packing around extra gear that you'll be able to sell when you get back to town. Now let's talk about combat. You're gonna to wanna to inspect your enemies. This is gonna let you know what their skills are, but it's also the only way to check how much health they have as they do not have a health bar for you to see in this game. The other most important thing you're gonna to wanna to do is rest, and you're going to want to rest a lot. That's gonna restore your health and your energy. It will restore your health up to your max health. Um, you're also gonna to wanna to fight, and you're gonna to wanna to do that in hallways when you can, and at one enemy, enemy at a time if you can, because if you get mobbed by more than one enemy in this game, you're going to have a bad day. You can shout by right-clicking on your character uh, to attract enemies. You can also use a bow to get aggro from one enemy at a time so that you're not fighting entire groups. Now, sometimes you can't target an enemy with the bow. If you hit control, that activates attack mode, making it so you can target them. I also recommend using a bow or any sort of ranged weapon or spell when you begin a fight and then switching into your melee mode. That way you're doing maximum possible damage before you actually encounter an enemy. And last but not least, don't feel bad if you need to run. That's gonna restore your energy and some of your health and you can just get out of there. Now when you get back to town, make sure you do check on your sanity. This game's like Darkest Dungeon in that if you go crazy, you're gonna get negative effects on your character. Just like in real life, you can get foods like lentil soup, which of course will make you go less insane, but that's stone shard for you. You gotta take care of your character.
And if you're lucky, you might find some cursed gear along the way. It will have some negative effects, but usually the positives massively outweigh it. Um, it is your end level items in this game. And you can also get enchantment scrolls, which I absolutely recommend using on your better gear to get you those bonuses. And the last thing you want to be careful to do is when you do get back to town, make sure you trade to the right vendor. It's pretty straightforward. First to the leather dude, metal to the metal guy. You get the idea. You're gonna get better prices selling to the appropriate vendor. And then you're gonna go do everything we just said in the video. After you collect your reward, you're gonna go through your town checklist, refill your water, repair your gear, get your meds, and save, and then do it all over again. If you guys found this helpful and you want more, like and subscribe for more Stone Shard. Mr. G out.